This video is for the revision of chemical energetics um, about breaking and forming bonds. Okay, let's look at this question. The, the chemical equation for a complete combustion of methanol is shown here, um, but do remember that there are two moles of methanol here. And the question here says, use the bond energies in the table uh, to calculate the enthalpy change here for the complete combustion of one mole of methanol. So when you get the answer, you do need to divide two later, but we'll settle that later. Let's break everything in the reactants, uh, all the bonds in the reactants and form all the bonds in the products. Okay, I'm gonna count how many CH bonds are there. So CH, we have one, two, three times two, so six of them. C single bond O, I have one here, but times two, so I have two of them. OH bond, um, I have one times two here, so I need to break two, but I do need to form one, two times four, that's eight of them. O double bond O, I need to uh, break one here times three, so three of them. And finally, C double bond O. So keep in mind C double bond O and C single bond O has different uh, bond strength here, so they are different. Don't treat them as the same type of bond. So there's two here times two, that's four of them that needs to be formed. I'll put that on the other side instead. So using a calculator, I'm going to total up all this for the bonds that has been broken. And I'm going to total up this for bonds that has been formed. So um, 6 times 410, oh, 2 times 360, two times 460 and three times 500, I'm gonna get 5600. As for the bonds formed, so eight of 460 and four times 805, I'm gonna get 6900. So to know the enthalpy change here for one mole of methanol, I'm going to take the bonds broken, 5600 minus the bonds formed because bonds broken is endothermic and bonds formed is exothermic. So my answer is going to be an exothermic answer. But this is for two moles of methanol. So if I want one mole of methanol, so divide two, I'm gonna get exothermic 650. So that would be my answer. There is an alternative way to do this. So uh, since we saw that two bonds, two OH bonds are broken and eight OH bonds are formed. So we can say that, okay, there's none of this OH bonds are broken, but instead only six of the OH bonds are formed. So it's eight minus two, that's six. Okay, so if we were to do that working, the alternative. So I'm gonna repeat this six times four one zero, and two times 360. No OH bonds are broken, three times 500. So my bonds broken is now 4680. And only six of the 460 is being formed. This is the same. I'm going to get 5980. So using the same method, I'm going to take the bonds broken minus the bonds formed, so 4680 minus 5980, I'm gonna get the same. And 
the same working here. And still I'll get the same answer. 